Hey, I'm heading out. Pulling another all nighter for the McKenzie account? Mm, not tonight. He's the lead in her school play, so I'm gonna knock out a little early. Well, after the time you put in the last few months, you deserve it. Thank you. Hopefully it's all worth it. Mark has been dangling that promotion in front of me for over a year. You're his right hand. You get the BP job on the back. Don't even sweat it. Selfie to break leg. Bye. Fiona, what are you doing? Play is getting ready to start. I'm sure the teachers are asking everybody to take their mark. But what about mom? I'm sure she's on the way. He promised she'd make it this time. I know. Um, I bet she's stuck in traffic. I'll text her. The only thing I want you to worry about is remembering those lines. Okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, I get to a spot, get to a spot. Emily, you're still here. That's great. Listen, uh, I got the research in for the McKenzie account. I need you to give me your notes by the end of the day. Oh, actually, I was just about to head out. My daughter has a school play tonight, remember? Mm, they're going to expect a response first thing in the morning. I need that tonight. I wish I could, but I promised my kid, and I can't let her down again. You know, Emily, I think your daughter will get over it. I mean, really, what's more important, uh, school play or your job? Now, if you want that VP position, I'm going to have to see that you're committed, and that's going to require some sacrifice. So, can I count on you? Or do I give that promotion to someone else that's going to put in the hours? I'll, I'll have the notes to you as soon as possible. Mm, that's what I like to hear. It's a little stuffy in here. To stop for wasted drops, so let the paint be spread. Oh, we're painting the roses red. And we're painting the roses red. Pardon me, Mr. Three. Why must we paint them red? The queen, she likes them red if she's so white instead. It'd be, be off with our heads. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I'm late. Did I miss it? You were supposed to be here two hours ago. Oh, baby. Something came up at work, and I just couldn't get out of it. That's what you always say. I tried texting. What happened? I was getting ready to leave, and then Mark came into my office. You know how he is. Oh, listen, kiddo, I am really, really sorry about tonight. I would have never missed it unless it was, was work. It's hard sometimes when you're a grown up and you have to do things that you don't want to. I know tonight's a bummer, but I'm going to be there for so many other things, starting with our camping trip next weekend. <laughs> But what if work needs you? I already got the time off approved, and there's nothing they can do or say that would make me miss it. Just think, we're gonna go hiking and swimming, yes. and we're gonna sit around the fire telling scary stories. Ah, no, 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 no. <gasps> well, we eat your favorite sports. Yeah. <laughs> Peter Brownies. I promise. All right, almost done loading the car, and then we can go. Sounds good. I cleared my email, and I put my out-of-office message. We are on. Yes. Uh, you don't know how much I need this vacation. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Mom, when we get there, can we please hike to the waterfall? We can do whatever you want, Fee. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Who was that? My boss. Oh, Em, ignore him. That guy has you working weekends, nights, holidays. He can survive without you for a few days. Now, yeah. turn your phone off. We're getting ready to go. Woo! Let's go. Just give me a second. It, it shouldn't it shouldn't take too long. No. Hello? Um, baby girl, it's okay. Um, take that to the car. I'm right behind you. Hey, Mark. Good. 
uh, Emily, you're there. Look, I got a call from the McKenzie Group, and they want to meet with you and uh, me over that report that you sent in. Can you be with us, let's say, at Giovanni's at uh, 1 o'clock? I, I can't. I'm on vacation. Well, reschedule, because I need you to come in. I, I need to spend time with my family, with my daughter. I put in this request ages ago. You, you approved it. Is there any way you can handle it or someone else can handle it until I get back? This is your biggest account, Emily. I don't understand the pushback on it. I'm, I'm not. It's just I haven't had a day off in over a year. And I've been planning this vacation for months. Emily, do you know how many days I've had off in the last three years? Zero, because that's what it takes to get ahead. What if I call into the meeting and attend remotely from, from a car or something? No, it's not gonna work. They wanna see you in person. Look, if you wanna prove that you're capable to be VP and that you, uh, you're loyal to the company, you'll be at Giovanni's. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. All right, girl. I'll see you at one. So, uh, slight change of plan. Let me guess, you can't go. It's just one quick lunch meeting and I can drive up and meet you guys after. You know, you always make plans with us, and then you bail at the last second. Sweetheart, it's work. I have no choice. Everyone has a choice. And actually, you have made yours. See, wait. I don't know what to do. And the worst part about it is that she's right. Now, call him back. He can't make these kinds of demands of you. You are entitled to life outside of work. It's not that simple. I could lose a promotion or get demoted or even fired. I just feel like in order to be a good employee, I have to fail as a mom. And in order to be a good mom, I have to fail as an employee. Em, you are amazing at your job. You are a wonderful mom, okay? It's this crazy guy with his crazy expectations. He expects you to be a robot and not have a life outside of work. That's how it was at my other job and the job before that. Answering emails after hours, being available 24 seven, and it's not just Mark. Everybody's like that. I just wish you and Fee should go. I have to deal with this work meeting. Have fun, okay? No, 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 no. We can wait for you. No, no, that's okay. Tell Fee I'm so sorry, and I'll talk to her later. I have to go get changed. Thank you so much. Thank you. So what would your recommendation be to address the higher turnover rates we've been experiencing? We praise salaries across the board, but still it only seems to have a slight impact on attrition. I've been giving that some thought and analyzing market trends, and I have some great suggestions that I think would be game changers for employee retention. Wow, I, I cannot wait to hear your ideas. You can grab that if you need, it's no problem. No, 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 it's okay. We put all our clients first, right, Emily? Right, right. Okay. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, okay. I'm sorry, you, you don't mind if I take this. It's my husband and he's camping with our daughter and- Emily, we're in the middle of something. It's fine. I have a daughter too, so we completely understand. Yeah, no worries. Okay, thank you. So, as she was saying, just mm -hmm. this attrition thing this is just- <laughs> Hey, is everything all right? What? Is she okay? I'll be there as soon as I can. I'm so yeah. sorry. I have to go. My daughter fell and she's in the emergency room. Oh my gosh, is she okay? Um, it sounds like a broken arm, but I'll find out more when I get there. 
Is there anything we can do? Oh, no, that's okay. But if you don't mind, I'll call you on Monday, and then we can pick up right where we left off. Of course, of course. Take your time. Take care of your daughter. Thank you. Your daughter's okay. I'll call you later, Mark. You know, could you just excuse me for a second? I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, man, you... Emily. What are you doing? This is your account. You need to get in there and try and salvage it if we can. What? I told you this is an important meeting. It's a million dollar client and this needs to be your priority. My daughter is in the hospital. Your husband is with your daughter, right? Well, yeah. So you going down there, what's that gonna do? Make her heal faster? Your kid can wait. This can't. Look, do you have any idea what it looks like when you leave a meeting like that? For you, for the firm, it looks unprofessional. These people do not hire you to be a parent. They hire you because of your expertise. I told you, my child is in the ER. I, I don't have time for this. Emily, if you walk through that door, you can kiss that position as VP. Goodbye. My daughter is more important than any paycheck or promotion. I don't care about your threats anymore. I quit. You quit? With all the money we pay you? Good luck trying to find another job this good. Fee, there you are. Are you hurt? Are you okay? I came as soon as I- I'm sure you did. Sweetheart, I swear, when I got the call- You weren't there when I fell. I'm never here when I need you. Honey, I know I've been dropping the ball lately, but you're the most important thing in the world. You always say that, and then work calls. Well, that won't be a problem anymore. I quit. What? Wait, what? what? I'll explain later at home, but the most important thing is that you come first, always. What about when you get a new job? Well, I won't take one that won't respect that I have a life outside of work. Because from here on out, it's family over everything. I promise. You mean it? Fee, I've always meant it. I just haven't been doing a good job at showing it. But now we're gonna have all sorts of time to spend together. Yeah, yeah. And you know what that means. Uh-oh. Oh, the ice cream we can eat tomorrow. Emily decides from that day forward to always put her family first. They all have so much fun together, hanging out and playing games with each other. After some time off, Emily begins looking for jobs that will allow her to make a great living while also spending a lot of time with her daughter. It doesn't take long for Emily to start landing lots of interviews. Everyone seems to be very impressed by her. But she quickly learns that everywhere she goes, the expectations are the same as her last job. Everyone wants her to give up her time with her family in order to put work first. She's unable to find a job that offers her the flexibility and the salary she needs to support her family. Eventually, bills begin to pile up and she can't help but think about asking for her old job back. Well, Emily, uh, you know, I wish I could say I was surprised when I got your email, but I'm not. I knew this would happen. Well, as I was saying, I know I can bring a lot to the table for this VP role. I refilled that position. For you, I was thinking like a junior manager. Junior manager? That's a huge step down from where I was before. The salary would be the same, right? Maybe. Maybe not. Look. 
I would be lying if I said that I wasn't happy to have you on board. I mean, you're a good worker. In fact, you're a great worker. I just got to make sure that you're completely committed this time around. I am. Good. Because I got a big quarter coming up. I need an A1 game from everybody. And nobody's going to have time to have any days off. Does that work for you? Yeah. It's just that Fee is having a play in the next few months, and I would just need an evening off for that. Other than that, I should be... Emily, I don't think that's going to happen. All hands have to be on deck 24-7. So tell me, do we have a deal? Emily! It's been a long time. What are you doing here? I just came to apply for the VP position, or I guess junior manager position. <sighs> it might be a little bit early to say, but I think we'll be working together again. Oh, actually, today was my last day. Are you serious? I thought you were the one who took the VP role. Mark offered it to me, but I turned it down. Why? Because I want to have a life. And I realize I can if I keep working here. But you don't have a husband or a kid to worry about, and the money's really great. I want my nights, my weekends, my vacations. I want to be able to enjoy myself. No amount of money is worth giving that up for. If you don't mind me asking, where'd you end up landing? Nowhere. I started looking around, but I realized everyone was signing the same tone. Below average salary, PTO, healthcare, retirement. So instead, I'm gonna launch my own firm. Really? That's amazing. It's scary, but yeah, I'm excited. I spoke with my best clients, and most of them are coming with me. Gosh, I wish I had the courage to do what you're doing. I always wanted to start my own thing. You know, I could use a partner. There's no way I'll be able to do everything by myself. Really? That's sweet of you, but I already accepted Mark's offer. Are you sure? Your research on the McKenzie Group could really come in handy. I know you had some ideas on how they could reshape their business. Why not use it for ourselves? I don't know. That sounds kind of risky. Sorry, one sec. Hello, Mark? What's up? 6 a.m.? But I don't start until 9. I need that time to drop off my... Oh, okay. Okay, I'll be there. Let me ask you something. Do you really want life to go back to the way things used to be? Working long hours, being chained to the desk without any acknowledgement that you're a person? Honestly, not at all. Then let's create a workplace we actually want to work at. You really think we could have it all? I know we can. Okay, let's do it. Hello. Hi. Emily Jones, she in? Sure, if you'd like to have a seat, I can see if she's available. Oh, sir? Emily, there you are. Mark, what are, you, what are you doing here? I think you know. About a month ago, I got an email from the McKenzie Group telling me that my firm well, they didn't need my services anymore. Now imagine my surprise when I realized where they had gone to. <laughs> oh, you guys, you got your nerve. You think you're gonna steal my clients? <laughs> you're more than welcome to take it up with legal. We did our research. Non-competence are binding in California. Oh, did you? Well, we'll see about that. You can figure it out for yourself. Business affairs is through there, past daycare. Daycare? <laughs> that's, that's a joke, right? I mean, who does daycare at home? Hey, Mark. I'm surprised to see you here. Are you here to congratulate Emily and Liza on starting their own firm? It's impressive, isn't it? Yeah. When Emily pitched their ethos, we knew we had to be on board. Yeah, it was a no-brainer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shall we? Uh, yeah. Of course. So, uh, Emily, what, what are you talking about? 
These two came by to deliver the good news and we got to talking and they mentioned that they saw the same problems in our business as some of their other clients. They wanted to overhaul the idea and create new policies so employees would have a work-life balance, starting with their own firm. What, what are they talking about? Daycare for our in-office working parents, unlimited PTO, dental and medical, flexible schedules, and of course, remote work. Oh. Well, c come on, Emily, you gonna tell me a couple snowflake policies are gonna change your company around? <laughs> Actually. They already have. We implemented all of their suggested policies, and I gotta tell you, employee morale and productivity have never been higher. I mean, we have more applicants for our open positions now than we've ever had. I mean, they're geniuses. These two are miracle workers. Oh, I don't know about that. I'm just a mom on a mission to spend more time with my kid. And have a life outside the office? You know, Mark, you should look into contracting their consulting services. I mean, I hear your turnover's pretty high. Yeah, how many reps did we cycle through when we were with your firm? Four, five? Anyway, we have a conference to attend. Good luck, Mark. Mom, are you ready? It's almost four. I gotta get ready and be on stage soon. Just about, honey. Emily, I gotta hand it to you. You created this whole thing, and you're even off before five. It's family over everything. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. It was good seeing you, Mark. Same here, Emily. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Olaf. Did Elsa make you? Yeah, why? I'll tell you why. We need Elsa to bring back Summer. Summer? Oh, I've always loved the idea of summer and sun and all things hot. Really? I guess you don't have much experience with heat. We should just go to the office and call the emergency contact on file to pick him up. You know, I'm sure she's on her way. She's probably just stuck in traffic. You know, I never understand women like her. I mean, why bother having kids if you're not even oh, going to show there, up for Wait, them? there she is. Oh. Oh, hey, Mom. Hi, honey. I am so sorry I'm late. Can I finish my game first? Oh, sure. Oh. Baby Emma. I got you. Here we go. Oh, thank you so much for staying with him. It's no problem. Don't even worry about it. School protocol is that you call the office and let them know if you're running behind. I know. I was on time. And then my sitter called that she had to leave last minute. So I had to rush home, get the baby, and then I was going to call. But when I realized I didn't have my phone and I was already halfway here. You know, some of the rest of us have busy schedules too, and yet we still manage to make it on time. I feel terrible. I really did not mean to hold either of you up. It won't happen again. Yeah, well, juggling a job and two kids never works out. You can't trust sitters or nannies. Mm -hmm. Take it from me, you're better off staying at home and letting your husband worry about the bills. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe, but that is not really an option for me. It's just the three of us. You're a single mom? Yeah, and it's probably going to stay that way. Between these two and 40 hours a week at the salon and my starting my new business, I don't have time to date. <laughs> wow, you're starting your own business? That is so great. Yes, I am trying to break into the skincare market. I've been working on creating my own line. Do you think it's really a good idea that you start your own business when you can barely pick up your own kid from school on time? I already explained what happened. And it was just a one-off situation. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, it's been really tough uh, and money's been tight. And sometimes I just feel like I'm holding on to my dream of running my own business by a thread. <laughs> oh, actually, I think I still have some samples. Oh, I'd, I'd love some. The official launch isn't for another few weeks, but, uh... <gasps> 
Dolly's Porfection. This is so great. <laughs> uh, you know what? At the end of the year, the kids have um, a career day, and we have different parents come in and talk about their jobs. And I know you're super busy, but I'm sure the kids would love to find out how to start a business. Oh, well, that sounds so... Actually, we already have enough parents who signed up for it. If you ever bothered attending a PTA meeting, you'd know that, of course. Anyway, it's getting late, and I need to get Emily to her piano lesson, so I'll see you both at the bake sale tomorrow. Which reminds me, what are you planning on bringing? Uh, Lisa, Helen, and I have the brownies covered. You've got cupcakes, mm -hmm. so... Uh, I thought that was next month. It was, and then we moved it up once we decided that we thought the proceeds should go towards iPads for the classroom before next semester. Do you read your emails? I guess I must have missed that one. Of course you did. Well, fine, we could use cookies. Can I count on you for two dozen? Um, yeah, sure. I'll figure something out. Good, then I'll see you tomorrow. Emily, let's go. Look both ways. I am so excited to try this. I just know you're going to be successful. I hope so. I have everything riding on this. Well, I know you will be. Because I've always believed when you do what you love, the money will always follow. I really like that. I, I mean, I don't know if skincare is what I love, but it's something to help pay the bills. <laughs> well, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh, by the way, what is... Oh, I made this. I was so tired of getting like these red marks on my arm from carrying the carrier that um, I just made it at home and now I don't get them with this. <laughs> wow, I, I wish I would have thought of that when Max was little. Well, if you ever plan to have another kid, let me know and I'd be happy to make you one. <laughs> Andy, you ready? It was so nice to see you, Kate. Good Bye. to see you. Bye. So how was school, honey? It was good. Yeah? yeah. Oh, hi there. Two dozen cookies, as promised. Thanks. <laughs> I love your necklace. Oh, thanks. I call them bite beads. My baby Ella is always chewing on any jewelry I wear. So I decided why not make fashionable jewelry chewable? <laughs> I do the same thing with my bracelets. Wow, that is genius. I could never wear jewelry when Max was little because he would do the same thing. Right? Where did you get those? Oh, it's just a little something I made at home. Seriously? Yeah, well, when you don't have an extra pair of hands to help round, you kind of have to get creative sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what they say, the necessity is the mother of invention. You know, a mom definitely came up with that um, quote. <laughs> who's are these? Oh, I found Oh, Polly, where did you get these? I got them from this great little bakery right down the street. Their cookies are amazing. You should try one. This is a bake sale. Yeah? Yeah. So everything needs to be homemade. That way we assure it's all organic and it doesn't include any potential allergens. They are. I confirmed with the bakery. I made sure that they didn't use any of the ingredients that you had on that allergy list you sent out. And I even got some gluten-free and some vegan ones in case Ooh. there's any dietary restrictions. No, no, no. We have no way of knowing if that's true or not. Sorry, but we can't sell these. We're gonna have to throw them away. Uh, but I just spent like $40 on that. Rules are rules. Uh, come on, Sharon, I'm, I'm sure they're fine. Can't we make an exception it's for the school? No, if I make an exception for her, I have to make an exception for everyone. I'm sorry, I just did not have time to bake anything on such short notice. I mean, it's just me by myself oh, and it's You know just... what, just because you don't have a husband doesn't mean our kids should suffer. They deserve homemade cookies. Besides, what message are you sending with store-bought ones? That cutting corners is okay? Sharon, you know what, if you want to contribute, why don't you write a check like the other working moms did? 
but I've been putting everything into my business and I have nothing to spare. I mean, that was over my budget as it was. Then do you really think you're in a position to start a new business? I mean, my husband is a VC, and with all the baggage you have going on here, he wouldn't take a second glance. Why don't you forget about the money and the cookies? You can throw them away on your way out. Bye-bye. That way. Yeah. These look great. Yeah. Jones? Yeah? Hi. Uh, I'm Dorothy with the accounting department at the school. Oh. Uh, hi. Is everything okay? Yeah, it... sort of. I just wanted to follow up on the email that I sent a few weeks ago. You know, about the tuition. The school still hasn't received a check yet. I'm sorry, I totally blanked. <laughs> Do you know when we can expect it? it it's been past due for a few weeks. I know, it's just things have been really crazy lately. Um, is there any way I can get an extension? Uh, technically, you're already at the end of your extension since it's been past due for a while. I know, and I understand. But um, I've been working on launching my new business. Oh. <laughs> and um, so, all my money is tied up right now. But if all goes well, I can pay off the balance in full. I just need a little more time. When is your business supposed to launch? Next week. I'll tell you what, since Andy is such a great kid, and you know this is a unique set of circumstances, I'll give you until the end of the month. Oh. Thank you so much. I so appreciate that. Of course. Just make sure you get the check-in by the 30th, okay? The last thing that I want is to see us lose Andy as a student. I will. I will. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck with the business. Thank you. <laughs> Even with so many different responsibilities, Polly stays committed to launching her own business. A few days later, she puts up her online store. She's so excited to finally bring her brand to life. That is, until she realizes hardly anyone's buying her products. Her social ads weren't working and her e-commerce sales were really low. When she goes to talk to retail stores, none of them seem interested in carrying Polly's product. She starts getting really discouraged. With no sales coming in, she does the last thing she can think of. She goes to the bank to get a business loan. But because she had no sales traction, she gets denied on the spot. Polly's devastated. To make things even worse, the end of the month comes and Polly can't afford to pay Andy's tuition. So she's forced to pull him out of school. One second. Do I need to sign anything else? That's it. Andy is officially unenrolled. I'm sorry it didn't work out. I thank you for everything. Anytime. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Polly? Sharon. 
Hi. I'm glad I ran into you. You haven't been responding to any of my PTA emails. Oh, listen, about that. You know, we need a chaperone for the field trip next week, and it's your turn to volunteer. I know you're not as involved as the rest of us moms, but we really need the help. Actually, I can't. <sighs> what is your excuse this time? You know, all the other moms step up and help out when asked. You're the only mom who doesn't care to help these kids. It's not that I don't care, but I work, I have two kids, and I don't have a partner. Whose fault is that? Look, I have a lot going on right now, and I certainly don't need this. Have a good day, Sharon. Oh, Polly. Rumor has it that your new business failed and you can't make the tuition payments. Is that true? That's none of your business. Hmm. <laughs> you know what, just forget the field trip. I'll ask a mom who actually cares about supporting these kids. Have a great day. Oh my gosh, are you okay? I ran into Sharon. What did she say this time? The truth, that I'm a failure as a businesswoman, as a mom. Come on, you know that's not true. <laughs> but it is, I put everything I had into this company, hoping it would work, but it failed. Now I'm in debt up to my ears, and I don't know how I'm gonna get out of this hole. You'll figure it out. It's just a temporary setback. Not according to Sharon. You can't listen to anything she says. She thinks she's better than everyone else because she has a rich husband. She doesn't know how hard it is. But I do. Also, my husband is not Max's biological father. So I really admire that you've got all these responsibilities and you're starting a business on top of it. I mean, it's incredible. I mean, I always wanted to start my own thing, but I never had the courage. That's really sweet of you to say, but it's not all that impressive considering I'm shutting down my company. Really? Oh, don't say that. Yeah, I just, I... Oh, hold on one second. What is that? Oh, I uh, figured out a way to hook up a baby speaker to my phone so that I can play some white noise in the background for my baby Ella. It just, it helps soothe her. Just give me a second, let me check on her. She's okay, but I'm going to have to get going. <laughs> that was genius. See, I never would have thought of that. Mm, well, I wish these little inventions would actually help pay the bills. Well, what if they can? What do you mean? I mean, between the baby carrier handle and the bite beads, have you ever thought about selling this stuff? Oh no, these are just little things I make at home to make my life a little easier. Exactly. And if it's making your life easier, just imagine how many other moms you could help. This is just a passion project. Passion? That's what was missing from your other company. You said you were just doing it for the paycheck, right? Well, yeah. So what if you started a business doing what you love? You love doing these mom hacks, right? Yeah, I mean, you could say that then you have to do it as a business. Because it's like I always say, when you do what you love, the money always follows. Now, come to think of it, that 
makes a lot of sense. <laughs> you have to do this. I personally know 20 new moms who would love to buy your products. Uh, oh. I can't afford to fail again. I don't have a dollar to spare. What if I became your partner? Are you serious? Yes. I mean, starting a business is something I've always wanted to do. You would actually be helping me. And I know a few people who could help us get started. My man's in finance. He actually works with Sharon's husband. Well, that sounds amazing. <laughs> then let's do it. Okay. But first, I have to find a homeschool teacher for Andy. Oh, I didn't want to think that the rumors were true. I'm so sorry you've had to pull him out of school. Yeah. You know what? As a token of my appreciation, I would like to pay for his tuition. No, I cannot accept that. I insist. I mean, you can always pay me back when the business takes off. And honestly, I'm being selfish because the more worried you are about Andy's schooling, the less you're going to be focusing on our company. So consider this an investment into our future. Wow. When you put it like that. <laughs> oh, and what if we make our mission donating part of our profits to single moms? Not only would it help them, but it would be good for business. I love that. I, you know, I'm really looking forward to doing business with you, Kate. Me too. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> with Kate as her partner? Polly is once again excited to start her own company. First things first, they needed a business name. And after a lot of thought, they decided to call it Mother of Invention. Kate uses her husband's connections to set up a meeting with some venture capitalists. Even though Kate and Polly didn't have any traction yet, Seeing the passion in their eyes and knowing they have first-hand experience as moms, the VCs decide to invest in their business. Kate and Polly are so excited. Now with funding, they quickly ramped up their business. They open a warehouse and scale up their manufacturing. New products were flowing in. Tapping into the mom market they both knew so well, sales start exploding. Retailers were placing big orders and online revenue skyrocketed. They were both living the life of their dreams. And of course, always staying true to their mission. And then a few months later, Polly is about to get a big surprise. Okay, kids, settle in. Our next special guest for career day is Andy's mom. Let's give her a big welcome. <laughs> Hello, thank you for having me. As you all know, I am Andy's mom, but what you may not know is that I am a businesswoman. Uh huh. What does that mean? It means I run a company. <laughs> I work with Max's mom, and we make products to help make parents' lives easier, like these beads. You can actually make money from making things like that? Mm -hmm. You can make money from pretty much anything. The most important part is that you're passionate about it. Because as a wise person once told me, when you do what you love, the money will always follow. Uh-huh. Did Annie's dad help you do that? No. Unfortunately, he's not in our lives. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you're a single mom? Uh, I've always heard that was a bad thing. Alex! What? That's what you said, right? It's okay. <laughs> Being a single mom is really hard, but it's not so bad. I have two amazing kids. I run a really successful company. And even though I don't have a husband, I have a wonderful partner. 
And for that, I am so grateful. <laughs> yes, I want to start a business. You do? Yeah, me too. That sounds fun. It is. <laughs> well, I'm sure Miss Jones would love to help all of you. Let's give her a big round of applause. Okay, next up, we have Simon's mom. Come on up. Holly, can I talk to you a sec? Oh, sure. Um, actually, I, just, I was going to give you this at our next meeting. $5,000? I don't understand. For all the years I couldn't contribute to the PTA, I hope it helps the organization. Oh. <laughs> I would donate my time, but we know I am single, and so go ahead. Make fun of me as you know you came out here to do. No, that's not it at all. Actually, I was just oh, good. Hi. <laughs> hi. Good, good to see you. Likewise. Uh, Mrs. Randall, I was actually looking for you. Um, can I have a word? Of course. Excuse me. <clears throat> What's going on? Um, it's come to my attention that you're behind on your tuition payments. I know. I know. If you're unable to pay... Look, we just have a lot going on at home right now. I don't know if you've heard, but Emily's father and I are in the middle of a divorce. And he's refusing to pay child support until our separation agreement is finalized. So... I am in the process of looking for a job. If you could just give me a little more time, please. I mean, I, I'm really sorry to hear all of that, and I understand that's gotta be a lot to deal with right now, but we have our policies. You know, but maybe I could give you until the end of the month. Thank you. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> I didn't mean to be nosy. I didn't know you were going through all that. Go ahead. Make me feel bad. I'm sure you feel good watching me suffer. No, not at all. I know what it's like to be a single mom. My company donates a lot of money to women in your situation. Wow. You know, I must say, it's really incredible what you and Kate are doing together. I admire you both. And um, actually, I was wondering, oh, God, this is <laughs> embarrassing. Say it. If you're hiring, you want to work for us? I know, forget I asked. It, it was a ridiculous thought. I, I no, just, I, I would love to have you on our team. You've done such a wonderful job with the PTA. And your management skills could really come in handy. Seriously? Oh, thank you. I wasn't expecting this. Not only will I be a good manager, but I'll also be a good customer. You're expecting? Yeah. I just found out, which is actually making my current situation that much more stressful. Oh. Believe me, I know. My ex left us when I was pregnant too. But you're not alone. You have Kate and me, and we will support you through it all. We can start by advancing your first check to help cover Emily's tuition. You do that for me? Supporting single moms is what we do. Thank you. Listen, I was just gonna go to that little bakery with the delicious cookies. Might you wanna join? Oh, funny enough, cookies are my pregnancy craving. I would love to. Perfect, let's go. Here you go, man. You know I got you. Thanks. What's wrong? I thought you love ice cream bars. I do, I just got a lot on my mind. Oh, really? Usually your mind is like, Empty. Ha ha. Very funny. Just hey. Just, my mom has an interview on Saturday. Oh, sweet. That could be a good thing. My dad had an interview last week, and he might be getting paid twice as much if he gets the job. Maybe your mom can make more money, too, and get you that new laptop you wanted. Yeah, maybe. The only problem is, 
I'd have to go to a different school. What did you say? Exactly. My mom told me this morning. She said that if she got this job, I'd have to move to a different area. Probably have to go to John Adams Middle School. Bro. That sucks. The kids at that school are lame. I heard they don't even watch Dharma, man. They watch the copycats. Oh, great. That just makes things worse. Plus, we're Jet Mikey. They can't break us up, right? I mean, we've been best friends since first grade. Well, since second grade. I had a different best friend in first grade, but when he moved away, you became my best best friend. Yeah, I forgot about that kid. But I don't want to lose another best friend. Does your mom not know we got a good thing going here? I guess not. You're ridiculous. <sighs> Man, we're legends at this school. No one comes up with schemes like us. Exactly. Oh, remember when we pretended to break our arms and got away with it? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Man, I actually did break my arm, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> true, true, true. And you didn't get away with it. Oh, yeah. But, bro, remember that time we skipped out of class and no one noticed? Classic! <laughs> <laughs> Wait. We didn't get away with that either. <laughs> yeah, I guess we can't get away with everything. Yeah. <sighs> but at least we had fun doing it. Yeah, you know mm. it. Hope your mom doesn't get the job. This school wouldn't be the same without you. Yeah. But my mom thinks she has it down. She has a lucky necklace and everything. She thinks she can ace the interview. She bad we can't make the interview go bad. That way for sure you wouldn't have to move schools. That's it. That's it. We gotta sabotage your interview. Ooh, I was joking, man. We cannot do that. Uh, of course we can. We're Jay and Mikey. The dynamic duo. We can do anything. But if we got caught? We won't get caught. Besides, we have no choice. The most important thing is on the line. Our friendship. All right, let's do it. Who knows how many more opportunities we'll have together. That's my boy. Okay, we gotta cook up a plan. Yeah, yeah. So I was thinking you come over to my house on Friday so we can have a sleepover. Oh my gosh, you see what you're doing? And then we can replace my mom's real resume with a fake. Confirm, we got a wall down. Here, you remember? All right, here's the plan. See this laxative? Yeah. You're gonna pour it into that water thing you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Coffee machine. All right, and there's only a little bit in there, so use it all. This will definitely ruin her interview. You know that. This cup is a little tricky. I think it's childproof. Let a man do it. Got a twist. See? It's stuck. All right, you figure it out. Look, I gotta sneak into my mom's room and steal her lucky necklace. And plus, I have to replace her real resume with a fake. And then we gotta rendezvous back to my room. Got it? Wait. What does rendezvous mean? Just come back to my room when you're done.
Hello? Yes, I'll be there right at nine. Uh, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Great. We'll see you soon. That was close. You really are lucky. Yo, what are you doing? <laughs> Told you to quiet down what part of that do not understand. You scared me. I was trying to hide your coffee maker. What? Why? I dropped the laxative and it all fell out. So I, I thought of a backup plan. Oh if she God. can't find the coffee machine, she won't be able to make her coffee, so she can't leave. And that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. What Give voice? it to me. You two are up early. Morning, Mom. How are you? Why are you holding the coffee machine? Oh, you see, that's all I was uh, put away. We were um, just about to make you coffee. What do you say? In the living room. Uh, we were uh, gonna take it to my bedroom and make it a surprise. <laughs> well, that definitely would have been a surprise, but no, make it in the kitchen. Got you, thank you. You boys are so sweet. <laughs> I'm gonna go finish getting ready. You ever made coffee before? No. Nope. Great, look at the mess you got us into. By the way, Mikey, have you seen my necklace? I could have sworn I had it in my room. No, Mom, I haven't seen it. Oh, I really wanted to wear that today. I've always had it with me on important days. Well, looks like you can't leave without it. Since it's so important to you. No, yeah. no, I, I'm gonna have to go without it. your coffee in the car! Too bad there's no laxative in it. Sorry. This isn't really going exactly as we planned. Uh, you think? Well, at least we still have a fake resume. Man, I wish I could be there when they read it. It's gonna be hilarious. So what did you do with the real one? Great question. Mikey, were you in my room? Uh, I found this under my bed. Uh, no, Mom, I, I wasn't. <sighs> wow, that's weird. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I... Maybe you're just nervous for the interview. <sighs> you could be right. <sighs> I better make sure I have my wallet and my keys. Go get the resume for her dress, all right? I'll stall her. Okay, all good. <gasps> okay. What's this for? Hug for good luck. Since you lost your necklace. Aw, you are so sweet. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you want me to do anything else for you? Like, review your resume? You want to review my resume? Sure, you know, yeah, it's always good to get a second pair of eyes on these things. Um, that's okay. I better get going. I don't want to be late. All right. Okay, boys. Well, be good and don't get in too much trouble. We won't. Bro, how are we supposed to get the resume into the folder? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Well, think harder. Okay, you think it's that easy? Hmm. That's it. Drop! Is the last time I have him make me coffee. Ugh. Oh my gosh! How did you get back here?
here. <laughs> I don't remember leaving you there. But I'm so glad I found you. This is a good sign. You got this, girl. Hi, I'm Kathy Miller. I have an interview with Dr. Andrews. Miller. Oh, for 9 a.m.? That's me. Actually, can I steal you? Can you take it? Nurse Miller here? She needs to go back and see Dr. Andrews. Dr. Andrews, your 9 a.m. is here. Nurse Miller, right? Yes. I'll take your resume first. Will you take her to the waiting area first, nurse? I just need one minute. Sure. Okay. Hey, this is getting out of hand. Even for me. Come on, bro. We're so close. Don't give up. Just give it a chance. Come on. Can I help you too? Yes. We're here to see our grandma. <laughs> In your pajamas. Uh... You are unstoppable Kathy Miller. We came as soon as we heard the news. Mm -hmm. She's not doing so well. Oh. We don't know how much time we have left with her. Yeah. We really gotta see her. ASAP. Okay. W what's her name? Uh... Oprah! Oprah Winfrey. Doing this for my sons. Wait a second. She doesn't even have any chi- Coast is clear. Let's go fall. Let me see the resume. Here. Mm -hmm. Hurry up and let's get out of here. Matter of fact, I meet you outside. Bro, where are you? I'm a scary cat guy. I do everything by myself. Good of you to come. Oh. So, yeah. Thank you again for coming in this morning. You know, it's my pleasure. West Hills Medical is my dream job. Please. You guys do amazing work here. Which is why we only interview the best candidates. Thank you. Let's take a look here. I'm sure you'll find I have all the necessary experience. So, you got your degree from Hui Pats University. Me? And for 20 years, you were a nurse in space? Your references are Chewbacca and Superman. Uh, are, are you pulling my leg? This, there must be some mistake. For address, you wrote your mama's house. Nurse Miller, I thought you'd be taking this seriously. I am, I do. That is not my resume. But it has your name on it. Kathy Fart Bucket Miller III. I have no idea how that got in there. I've heard great things about you from your hospital director, but it seems like you've just come here to waste my time. No, no, I swear I would never do that. I'm so confused right now. Oh, Is someone there? What in the world? Hi, Mom. This is all making sense now. Do you know this kid? I do. Jeez. That's my son. I am terribly sorry about this. Just go. I won't waste your time anymore. Alice, please just go. Thank you for the opportunity. Come on. Go to your room while I think of a punishment. Mom. No, I don't want to hear it. You know, Jay's mom is really upset too. Why would you do something like that? Give me one reason why you thought that was a good idea. Because... Because I don't want to lose Jay. What do you mean? If you got the new job, I'd have to move to a new school and never get to see Jay again. That's why I never... Who knows? Maybe I'll never have a best friend again. And Jay, on the other hand, would replace me in a heartbeat. Is that what you were worried about? If I lost Jay, I'd be sad and... <laughs> That's not what it's true.
true. No, that doesn't sound dumb. I guess I just never knew how you felt. But let me tell you something. Jay is not your best friend because you go to the same school. He's your best friend because of all of the memories you have together and all the fun you've shared. And that doesn't have to change. You really think so? Yes. Did you know that one of my best friends lives in another state? Now we're still very close. As a matter of fact, she sent me this card with this great quote on it. Here it is. Your best friend can be near or far because you don't love them for where they're at. You love them for who they are. I really like that. I never thought of it that way. I'm really sorry for ruining your interview, Mom. I completely understand why you did it, but you are not off the hook that easy. You cost me my new job. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go get changed and then we're gonna talk about your consequences. What's up? You guys, you got grounded? Yeah, I got grounded. But, um, that's not the only thing. What? My dad just told me some news. What news? Remember I told you he had a job interview last week? Mm-hmm. He got the job. I, I didn't realize it was out of town, so... We're gonna have to move next week. What? I'll be going to John Adams Middle School. <laughs> Please. Oh. called up my mom for a second interview? Or, come, come, a real first one. But she got the job! Yes! The dynamic duo is back! <sighs> Jay and Mikey, better than ever! Well, I'm so glad you're here. This school is lame. Yeah? Well, then let's shake things up a bit, eh? Yes, sir. None of the teachers know my scheme, so let's blow their mind, put them on fire, and make them retire. Yo, boys! Ooh, you know it. Well, I had to bother to use the people. Yo, we never learned to be at home, bro, not at home. I don't have enough Robux to finish customizing my avatar. Just use your allowance to buy some more. I already spent it all. There has to be another way. Aha. Uh -huh. What are you doing? That's mom's wallet. Watch this. You can't use mom's credit card without asking. If she finds out, you're gonna be in big trouble. You know how many charges she makes every day? She's not gonna notice one more. Mama always says what happens in the dark always comes to light. Bruh, stop being such a square. Uh, has anybody seen my... Oh, there it is. Wait, I, I really think you should look inside of it. You know, just to make sure everything's in there. Uh, okay, that's a good... Oh, my client must have arrived early. Hello? She's already there. Okay, uh, I'm coming. Okay, uh, I gotta run. I will see you boys later. Wait, I really wish. Yes. Uh, what, what he was trying to say was maybe you should drop us off at the store. But you've already spent your entire month's allowance. We'll, we'll just walk around. You know, window shop. Please take us. I mean, it's on the way. Fine, but we have to go now. Come on, I don't have much time. Yes! Thanks, Mom. Yo, I've been wanting to get this since it came out. You know that costs almost 300 bucks, right? So? It's not like I'm the one paying for it. But you can't use that, you're gonna get caught. Dude, not this lecture again. Georgie, I'm serious, put it back before. Hey guys, can I help you with anything? Uh, actually, yeah, do you have PS5s? Oh, I wish, but we're actually all sold out. Darn. I wanted to get one for my birthday. Well, I guess I'll just buy this then. Great, well, let me take this in the front for you, whenever you're ready. Cool. All right, check this out. You can choose anything you want in this store, and I'll buy it for you. 
No, I don't want anything to do with this. I'll be waiting outside. <laughs> Sammy. Come on. Whatever. All right, we still got 15 minutes before mom gets here. I say we go to another store. So you can buy more stuff on a stolen card? Not a chance. You're being so dramatic. How are you planning on explaining that? What happens if mom asks how you paid for it? You really take me for a fool, don't you? Mom is never gonna know that I bought this. Hey boys, do you like video games? I got a brand new PS5 for sale. We're not interested, thanks. Oh, speak for yourself. How much? This one retails for 500, but uh, I'll let it go for 250. What? Wait, <laughs> are you serious? That's a steal. <laughs> <laughs> it sure is. Oh, I, I don't have cash, but you take credit card? You, you can't use that. Stop it. You're embarrassing me. Don't take his card. It's not even his. He's not. Quiet. <laughs> Sorry about my little brother. <laughs> uh, what he means to say is that it's my mom's credit card. Uh, does that matter? Not to me. Just as long as it works. Great. Well, there you go. Perfect. I got a reader in the car. I'll be right back. I can't believe you. You're just gonna let him walk away with the PS5 and the card? What if he runs away? <laughs> He's not gonna do that. Are you? No, I would never do that. Here, I'll tell you what. You can hang on to this until I get back. Oh, well, thanks. See? How do you know the console's even in there? This could all just be a scam. Must you ruin everything? This isn't a scam. Feel how heavy this is. What's that shaking noise? Uh, I, I don't know. Rocks? What the heck? That's all that's in here. Hey, hey you, get back, get out! Hey. Give me my card back! He's getting away! No! What a crook. Like, you're any better? I told you not to steal Mom's card. What are you gonna do now? I don't know, but I, I gotta figure out something. It's time you tell her the truth. What? No! She'll kill me if she figures out I stole her card. So what, you're just gonna let some thief charge it up? If you don't tell her, she won't know to cancel it. Just stop talking for a minute, okay? I gotta think of a good lie. Lying is what got you into this mess in the first place. It's time you tell- Mom. What about the PS5 box? Who cares, it's just rocks. How was the store? Georgie has something he wants to tell you. Right, Georgie? Oh yeah? What's that? Uh, uh, I, I was thinking uh, maybe we could have spaghetti for dinner. Hmm. That's a great idea. Here you go. Oh, thanks, Mom. Mm -hmm. So, Georgie, I've been meaning to ask you something. Lately, You've been acting a little funny. Funny? Uh, how so? Like you're hiding something from me. I mean, this morning you covered Sammy's mouth. Uh, just what could I possibly be hiding? You really think I wouldn't figure it out? It's quite obvious that you failed your math exam. Were you really not gonna tell me? Oh, my math test. Uh, of course I was gonna tell you, Ma. I was just about to mention it, actually. Uh, you see... <laughs> oh, that's the credit card company calling. That's strange. I'll call him back after dinner. <laughs> <clears throat> that's a good idea. <laughs> you don't want your food to get cold. <laughs> Wait, uh, you should probably answer. It might be important. You're right. Hello? Do I have my credit card? I'm pretty sure I do. Let me check. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's not in my wallet. Have either of you seen my credit card? Uh, no, I, actually I, I haven't seen it. I don't know how this happened, but my credit card is missing. 
There's been some suspicious activity, what? Rolex for $7,000. Gucci for $3,800? Neither of you know anything about this. Georgie. Nuh-uh. An Oculus? No, I didn't buy that. $99 for Roblox. Wait, isn't that the game that you play? Uh, no, but it's not. Well, so sometimes, but uh, not that much. Georgie, is there something you need to tell me? This is your last chance. Fine, suit yourself. No, I don't recognize any of those transactions. Would I like to press charges against the person who stole my credit card and send them to jail? Well, as a matter of fact, I- I took it! I'm sorry. I used your card to buy some Robux and... And then I bought an Oculus and... I, here. I, here. We can still uh, return it. And? I need the Rolex and the Gucci. None of those charges were mine, I swear. There was this guy who tried to sell me a PS5 and I gave him my card. Well, I mean your card and, and then he disappeared. Nice try. I'm not gonna ask you again. I need them back or I'm gonna tell them I wanna press charges. Please, please believe me, mom. I'm begging you. I don't wanna go to jail. Well, lucky for you, you might have if that was the real credit card company. What? It, it isn't? Nope. I had my office phone call me. But I, I don't understand. If the credit card company didn't call you, then how'd you know? That you stole my credit card? I knew from the very beginning. You see, I get notifications on my phone whenever a charge is made. Within three seconds, I knew what you were doing. And here's a tip. Don't leave the order confirmation on the screen that shows you used my credit card. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Is there anything else you want to tell Mom? You know, like, where the card is now? Oh, yeah, there is. Mom, you do actually have to call a credit card company because I wasn't lying to you about the guy I was telling you about earlier. He sold me a box full of rocks, and, and, and then he ran away with your card. We tried to get him, but he got away. So this guy, does he look like him? Uh, yeah, exactly like, wait, what are you doing here? Mom, call the cops right now. I would, except this guy is my assistant, Joey. He is? Mm-hmm. I had him sell you a fake PS5. Hello. Oh, uh, here's your card back. Oh, thank you. I will call you later. I'm so confused. So you purposely set me up to get scammed? But why would you do that? To teach you a lesson. See, I told myself it was wrong for you to use my credit card to begin with. But if you were honest with me, I would still give you the PS5 I got you for your birthday. No way. You got me the PS5? <gasps> yes! Had gotten it for you. See, because you lied to me and Sammy was honest, I'm giving it to him. Wow. <gasps> Thank you so much. That isn't fair. I, I wanted that. <sighs> oh, well. So I can still play with this. Oh no. We're returning this. But then what do I get for my birthday? Oh, I don't know. How about I don't call the cops and tell them what you did? So I hope you learned what happens in the dark. I know, I know. Always comes to light. Mm hmm. Okay, well, at least we got the money back for the Oculus. <sighs> Sorry again, Mom, but I'm glad everything worked out. Oh, Mom, I was wondering, since today's the first, do you think I could maybe get my allowance for some new shoes? Here you go. But I don't have any change. Well, that's all right. You've been so good lately, you can keep it. 
Wow, <laughs> thanks. Hey, uh, what about my allowance? Here you go. That also includes your birthday money. Yes, I think I'm gonna buy a... Why'd you do that? Do you really think I forgot about the Roblox? This is you paying me back. <sighs> no, please give it back. Here you go, Sammy. How about you buy yourself some new clothes too? Seriously? This is the best day ever. I think I'll start in that store over there. Come on. They're having a two-on-two -two competition at Lydecker Park this Friday. You wanna go? School dances this Friday. Are you going? I was thinking about it. We make a great team. I thought you were gonna ask him to the dance. I was about to. Maybe you and I Hey, could... Lucas! <laughs> 